guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time thank you for tuning in my name is Juliet, and I hope that you can find something about what I talk about useful helpful or inspiring um, today I wanted to talk about self-esteem I think self-esteem is a feeling and that might sound obvious but it's how we feel drive our actions so when our self-esteem is low our actions will be a mere effect of how we feel about ourselves. What I've experienced with low self-esteem is depression, um, not feeling worthy. I went through a really rough time where I was uh, self-destructing myself and it was sort of like a catch-22, like the more I did it, the more crappy I felt about myself, so I just kept doing it, you know what I mean? I have some tips on how you can help improve your self-esteem. And the first one that I have is to create small goals that you can achieve that are actually attainable. And I say small goals because the smaller they are, the easier they will be to reach. And achieving these small goals will reset your mind frame and you'll feel good about the fact that you were able to do something for yourself. My second tip is to anybody on a social media platform that is not serving you well um, if it's somebody that you compare yourself to and in a negative way you should definitely stop following a person that makes you feel bad about yourself if they inspire you that's a different thing but anybody that is taking up your time with you constantly comparing you know how wonderful their life is compared to yours Definitely think about unfollowing them. If those people help push you and you find motivation through that sort of thing, then by all means continue. My third tip, and this is probably one of the most challenging, is to bring awareness to your negative self-talk. When I learned to meditate, I learned about awareness. Because think about it, when you first begin to learn how to meditate, you think it's all about stopping what you're thinking. So you're, br you're bringing awareness to your thoughts and you realize what you are saying to yourself, if that makes sense. I realize how much I talk to myself. It's almost like I have two different people in my head, like my intuition and my ego. There we go. And tip number four, bring some more positive self-talk to yourself. You don't have to, you know, say how over the top, amazing, ridiculously, super califragilistic, espialidocious you are if that's not something that you truly believe. Make it something that you actually believe. Pick your best qualities and remind yourself of them because we talk way too much crap about ourselves. We judge ourselves and these sort of things hold us back from really putting ourselves out there and experiencing life to the fullest. My fourth tip is to set some healthy habits. What habits or rituals do you have right now that you do on a daily basis that are working towards your dreams? Think about your sh short term goals and think, what am I doing on a daily basis that is getting me to what I want to achieve? Another great way to figure out what your daily habits should be are to determine what your what your values are figure out what it is that you believe in in life and how are you upholding those beliefs do you believe in good health do you believe in family relationships do you believe in your success however you define it do you believe in money religion uh, courage is whatever it is that you value. Are you doing things that are a description of those values? It's a constant practice. It's a lifestyle that I want to maintain to just make the best decisions for myself. Tip number five, start working out. And that is probably going to occur after you're starting to create some healthy, easy habits for yourself. So if you're not already working out, start doing something really easy like going for walks don't do anything crazy start out with 10 minutes you don't even have to stay there for two hours an hour half an hour start out with 10 minutes and you'll walk out of that gym feeling like a million bucks i guarantee you number six help somebody have you ever helped anybody in your life if you have then i really don't think i need to explain this 
it feels good to help other people. Self-esteem, like I said, is a feeling and your feelings drive your thoughts. So when you feel good, you tell yourself good things about yourself. If you help somebody, you know you've done something good. So you're going to tell yourself you've done something good. And that's a positive self-talk. And you want to get that shit going. <laughs> like a cycle. And that will boost your self-esteem. So I really hope that these tips helped. And I could go on forever. But, but I also wanted to say that if you're really struggling with self-esteem, these tips are not going to be that easy to implement. I don't really know what to say about that because I know how that feels and I just hope that some way, somehow you can find a way to look past what everybody else is thinking. I just hope that you're able to look past what everybody else is thinking or what you think they're thinking about you or what you think everybody else wants you to do and I hope that you're able to do for yourself and put yourself first and I want you to be stubborn and determined and hard-headed and be selfish about taking care of yourself and doing what's right for yourself and doing what's best for yourself. Don't ever let anybody make you feel less than what you're worth. Don't ever let anything or anyone make you feel less than what you're worth. You're worth so much more. And it's your life and you get to choose whatever it is that you want to do with it. Sorry, I guess that hit a chord with me. Um, and if you're feeling far worse than that, then... I'm going to put the phone number for the suicide hotline at the end of my video. All right. Thanks, guys. I just wanted to come back on here and finish out the video on a more positive note because I was really sad. And I just want to say that if you are feeling really down about yourself, I just want you to know that I've been there and I know what it feels like. And I am just living proof that it, it does get better. And that's all I can say is it does get better. It can get better. And you just got to hang in there. And if you follow me and you watch my videos, hopefully you'll get something out of them that you can find helpful to you and your life. And I, that's all, that's all I want to do with my videos is just help other people because I just have so much empathy for people who are in pain and it sucks. And I know how much it sucks. And that, that's, that's my drive in life is just to help people. And if you feel like talking, just always feel free to message me or I'll put my email up here if you want to email me. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos too. Okay. Cause I plan on coming up with some more, uh, self-help videos, you know, things that I've learned along the way that have really helped me create a you know, more sense of joy in life. And so hopefully they can help you too. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.